this VTuber had somebody commission the unthinkable. By the way, trigger warning for violence. So the VTuber in question is Marina, who goes by the Twitter handle Sweaty Goth Mom. A VTuber commissioned detailed art of the murder and gutting me and labeled it, quote, happy pride, end quote. But I'm still dismissed when I call out people being transphobic to me as making it up in order to dismiss criticism. I'm so numb from the way I've been treated in this space that waking up to that art wasn't even that surprising anymore. I've received countless threats of violence and doxing fueled by hate. A person is still a person behind the avatar and it seems like so many people in this space let themselves forget that. I know the feeling of being treated like a subhuman isn't unique to me. I see a lot of people mistreated in this space and if somebody slips up once, they get dogpiled on by people that care more about the likes they get by being part of the quote retweets and comments than the way they treat another person. The dopamine hit from clout wears off almost instantly, but the damage they do to another human lasts a long time. I miss when this space was full of kindness and positivity. I miss when people uplifted each other. I have made mistakes during my time online, namely my December stream that I've apologized for and recognized how defensive I was around people sharing concern. I've learned and grown and frankly, just stick to myself mostly by choice now. But I don't believe anything I've ever done has warranted the way I've been treated by so many people, whether it's the outward public hate or the people who decided I wasn't worth anything anymore after being involved in controversy. I've tried to be a good person during my time online and I know I've been opinionated on the things that were important to me and try to stand up for others and that has rubbed plenty of people the wrong way. In speaking out for trans rights, I've become a target for transphobes. I have had countless lies made up about me that don't have any evidence behind them, but people don't care when they use those lies as excuses to be hateful. I'm tired of the way I've been treated in this space and I know it's not going to stop, but neither will I. All I can hope for is that more and more people become tired of the mistreatment of others to where some actual generalized change comes from the people who forget we're all human. Sorry for my rambling, just dumping my feelings. I won't be sharing the art or a poster for obvious reasons. They just want the attention and they won't get it. So we have people replying like Dark Pixie saying, holy shit, no one, I mean, no one deserves this type of treatment. That is absolutely vile. You deserve so much better. You are so strong. I hope peace reaches you soon. You've been through so much. Marina says, thank you. Sylvie Spark writes, the fact you've been able to handle so much, I can't imagine the toll this all has been on your mental health. I'm still a firm believer in karma and eventually you'll have a moment of peace. Marina says, I'm doing my best. Thank you, Sylvie. Lola Tov Cocktail writes, that's deeply effed up. Nobody should have to go through that. The amount of awful, twisted ugliness in somebody's heart to spend money on something like that speaks to some serious issues. Marina writes, thank you, Lola. Sasu Bun writes, Marina, I am so effing sorry you've had to deal with that. Twitter brings out the effing worst in people. Marina says, thank you, Sasu. So to the break this down, I want to say first off, no matter what, in my opinion, somebody has done commissioning artwork of you ending somebody's life and spilling their internal remains all over the floor next level mental f up especially when you label it happy pride in case you guys didn't know marina is trans and i myself can't speak on the experience of being trans i do not want to speak over trans voices i have seen it happen over and over and over again trans individuals have to fight day in and day out just for existing and being who you are people will i don't know where they get the audacity but they start typing up the most fucked up vile shit. Commissioning this artwork is already next level deranged, but on top of that, to label it happy pride is just icing on this fucked up cake. And I am so sorry to Marina for this happening. People have pointed out that there is no proof of this, but in my opinion, this is a lose-lose for Marina, right? Either Marina, again, allegedly if this did happen, if Marina posts the artwork, then they're going to experience a lot of backlash of people being like, oh, you're sharing really inappropriate material, da 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 da, da right? But then if Marina chooses in this case to be the bigger person and not share it, then everyone's going to be like, oh my God, but there's no proof. So you're making things up. Obviously there's two sides and the truth, right? So without proof, we can only take things with a grain of salt. When you think of scenarios like this, you always have to think of what does this person serve to gain from making the scenario up, if it is made up, right? And in my opinion, there's really nothing for Marina to gain besides like maybe sympathy and like likes. But if they truly wanted sympathy and likes, I'm sure there's better ways to go about it besides this. This is like a very oddly specific thing to talk about, which leads me to believe this is actually a true scenario that did happen. But again, to all the people that are saying, oh my God, I want proof. Marina is in a lose-lose situation here. They either post the photo and then what? It's re-traumatizing for them and it's a fuck 
picture or there's no proof and then you have to believe what they say and everyone's gonna be like oh my god they, like there's no proof so it didn't happen right they're literally stuck between a rock and a hard place what do you want them to do again i am very inclined to believe this until i see otherwise and also because they never mentioned the person's name either because they said they wanted to be the bigger person and not throw the other person under which i don't know if i would have been this mature i'm gonna put it that way but also secondly the other narrative that's been going around on twitter is that marina is a up person so therefore they deserve it i do not know marina so i did some research into the background of why people were accusing them of being effed up and this is what i found and again before you guys start typing in the comments please bear with me because i'm trying to provide context so then i can provide a counterclaim to the narrative that's going around on twitter i am not trying to dredge this up on purpose just to be like oh my god yeah here's like all their skeletons in their closet this is just a narrative that i've seen where people are like marina is a bad person so therefore they deserve it so let me showcase what allegedly this is. So from my understanding, there was this tweet that was made by this person called Jellytrap22 on Twitter, who writes one of the seven dear followers of the scummy piece of sh I hope you're aware that this morally disgusting, whatever, right, about Marina and something to do with taking down a VTuber known as Bungo Taiga. Zan writes, I've seen many people bring up the past misdeeds of Marina in relation to Free Taiga. I believe it is in the interest of the public to know what kind of reputation she carries around herself. I will only point out the most important event she is responsible for. One, Marina made fake accusations against Taiga, calling him a PDF file and copiously insulting his character. She did this by allegedly platforming the false accusations of an allegedly actually convicted person who is registered on the offenders list. So here we have Taiga stating, reminder, Marina refused to take down a label document calling me a PDF file written by an abuser who actually date R worded a trans girl on her 18th birthday. And then here we have Marina with a doc August 2nd, 2022, stating, if you need the spark notes on why Bungo Taiga slash Taiga slash tags is a person who should not be on this community, here you go. Full doc below. By the way, disclaimer, just for a full context, Taiga is a Shota creator, and I did not know what that was for a very long time until actually very, very recently. But Shota is the male equivalent of Lolly. Taiga themselves says, at no point has she ever reached out to me, tried to talk to me, asked for my side or any explanation. It was full on harassment and slander from the second that R word dropped his hit piece. She just wanted easy target somebody to harass so she could look good to her followers and never stopped to consider if there was any nuance or a deeper story. So Zan adds, two, Marina was invited to Off Kai 23, but it created such a shitstorm she got dropped immediately. Something similar happened with Glitch Energy, tried to partner with her. Three, I also want to point out that Marina was announced as an Off Kai VTuber liaison and consultant in 2022. Marina found a rainbow, a place for LGBT VTuber fans and creators that she used to only boost her career and didn't actually manage herself. A place that accepted minors originally. A place where she spread her 18 plus content. So these are some screenshots provided by Comfy Lennox stating that the group's discord wasn't age restricted or 18 plus. Zan adds, Marina is a key figure responsible for stoking the fire of the hog leg harassment within the VTuber community, something that accelerated Pika Me and Silvervale's graduation from each of their agencies, as well as driving them to tears, alongside a bunch of other dramas. Six, Marina and her associates still harass the people related to VT Rainbow after an entire year. I have reasonable suspicion that Marina and slash or an associate used Doc's information to make false reports to their target local government to get them in trouble with the law. Seven, Marina is also responsible for the Twitch TOS incident, where she went fully naked. Zan adds, Marina is the person most responsible for the terrible reputation of trans VTubers within the industry due to her constant usage of her identity as a weapon to silence any form of criticism. There's a lot more to be said about Marina. I hope this thread can raise awareness about her. So again, this is all a document from one person. This is honestly a huge rabbit hole that we can go very in depth into. I'm just saying that in my personal opinion, regardless of this alleged past controversy of Marina's. I don't think any of this would warrant commissioning somebody to make artwork of you ending their life and then spilling their guts on the floor. Next level deranged. And again, like guys, what happened to internet literacy, online literacy, and just, I don't know, being a normal person? I feel like in most scenarios, at least IRL, right? With people that I don't like, because again, I have people that I don't like IRL, right? I just ignore you. I just do not spend any more of my time, effort, or money on you because I just don't want to be in your life. And I have my reasons for not liking people. Some of them are like, they're valid to me, but some of them may be petty reasons. They may not be petty reasons, right? But going out of your way to do this is fuck up. And honestly, it's not a good look on the person who commissioned the artwork. Allegedly, if this artwork does exist, right? Again, that's just me personally. And I think in scenarios like this, we can acknowledge that two things can be true at once, okay? In people's minds, you can find Marina a potentially problematic creator. You could, right? And you can also, hopefully, I hope you can, acknowledge that commissioning artwork like this is f up. So you can put it on both sides of the coin.
they could be problematic. What was done to them in this scenario, if it did happen, which I am personally likely to believe it did happen. Again, I just want to say too, that Marina being trans is also part of this conversation. So Zan did accuse them of using the fact that they're trans as a shield to deflect from conversation. But I do want to point out the fact that trans folks face so much discrimination and so much hate on a day-to-day -day basis just for existing. Personally, I don't know Marina, right? So I don't know whether they do weaponize their transness. Maybe they do do it, but I am trying to err on the benefit of the doubt. And I really do not want to overlook the fact that trans folk face so much harassment on a day-to-day -day basis. And that definitely probably contributed to how Marina is perceived and how people are reacting to this commission artwork of them. I don't want to gloss over that because it is an important factor. People are absolutely unnecessarily mean to trans folks. And if Sucks. And a lot of people let their transphobia kind of like muddle in their brain and affect the way they perceive other people. So I do want to point that out as well. Let's just try to give people grace, okay? You can acknowledge that maybe you don't like things that Marina has done in the past, but we can also acknowledge that what was done to Marina in this scenario was not freaking cool and really gross. So I hope that this could be a scenario that doesn't affect Marina in the long run because it seems like this person just really wanted to kind of like knock him in their knees and knock him down a peg. Whomever commissioned this artwork, spend your money on better things. Maybe get some therapy because this is not a cool art piece to commission from somebody. And again, this is all alleged of it happening. But I personally, like I said, am inclined to believe it did happen. So anyways, if you did like this video, I would appreciate it if you like and subscribe and check me out on Twitch because I do stream three days a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, Saturdays at 6 p.m. PST. I hope to catch you guys there or in another one of my videos.